One of the things everyone is talking about at the moment is Brexit. We just wanted to give you an insight into our thoughts on how that's going to impact on the transactional marketplace. So when we've been out and about speaking to our banking clients, they remain positive and optimistic. Um, yes, Brexit was unexpected, but it is something that they had prepared for. Whilst we are in a period of uncertainty, we've not seen that translate into deals collapsing. What we have seen is deals being put on hold to allow them time to restructure, to deleverage, to reduce their debt, um, or even just to give businesses an opportunity just to reconsider their options in light of the recent decision. We're hearing really positive messages from the banks in support of businesses during their trade in this uncertain time. So for example, if you are a, a business that imports in dollars, where your working capital costs are likely to increase, we're seeing that the banks are out there just saying, look, we are here to support you. I also think that we are going to see an increase in overseas investors coming to buy UK assets. Um, what with the drop in the pound, I think that's going to make UK assets look far more attractive. I think we could see an increase in company acquisitions, property acquisitions, although we do have to acknowledge that on the real estate side of things, in the lead up to Brexit and post, post the decision, that there has the property market has lost appetite for certainly those larger commercial property assets. Um, but there's nothing to say that, you know, as time goes on, that they will be just as attractive to overseas investors. I also think that we might see an increase in asset-based lending. So this is lending against invoices. So during uncertain times, you tend to find that the banks want to do safer lending, um, and this is safer as they have an added layer of protection. And I think we will see an increase in, in asset-based lending. When times are uncertain, that can lead to volatility in prices, whether it's interest rates, whether it's commodity prices, whether it's the price of currency. And we, as a result, see an increased demand for those products that banks and other financial institutions have to protect businesses against uh, volatility. So we see an increased demand for treasury management products and hedging products. Also, when we look at the sectors, um, there will be some sectors which will be impacted more than others as a result of Brexit in inevitably, but there will be some sectors which in our view there will be limited impact. So here at Brand Jacobson we have particular expertise in the health sector. We've done a number of transactions recently in the, in the pharmacy sector and involving specialist care homes. There's a lot of demand out there and these are very fundable. We don't see that as a sector being particularly uh, affected by Brexit. And another sector which falls into that category where we've got particular experience is the residential housing sector. In our banking finance team here at Brand Jacobson we've done 12 transactions over the last year and this is a sector which is heavily supported by the government, the government's initiative to build more houses in the country and again we would see because of the demand and the government initiatives behind that, that would again another sector that wouldn't be particularly impacted by Brexit. So overall we remain positive and the sign of that is the investment we've made into our banking and finance team. Uh, Sean McCabe used to be a partner of Brown Jacobson, has been with Shoesmith for the last five years, and I'm delighted to say he's going to be joining us again uh, here in September. And also James Busby, who is a solicitor at Gately's, again coming across to join us, so that's fantastic news.